What's up guys? It's your boy Matty. <laughs> what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I feel like every single video starts out just like this. I need a new intro bro. Anyways though, today we are going to be starting out on something that we talked about last video that I've been waiting on parts for. The parts have not arrived, but I don't know. I'm bored once again. Still waiting on more and more and more parts. So we're just going to work on some stuff until it comes in. Get some progress made. So let's check it out. Like you guys saw, we got the fuel system in from 4. VMP helped me out with this system. So huge thanks to those guys over there there once again we got the vmp billet fuel rails here triple pump system right there those are 450 ti pumps i believe we've got all the fittings right here we've got a ton of electrical stuff and we've got our enormous dash eight fuel lines right here so this is going to be a lot of fun to get installed unfortunately i'm not going to be able to start on the fuel rails up front because i'm still waiting on a few more fittings as well as like a connecting hose that goes between the two fuel rails so those are going to be put off for now but me and harry here we're going to focus on trying to get everything else taken care of at least as far as we can get focus on getting the uh, triple pump hat set into the tank at least as well as running maybe some of the wiring getting the lines bolted up underneath the car getting those ran everything like that let's get started on day one of this fuel system install okay so uh we're not going to need the regulator right now that's going to be at the front of the car we are going to need these uh an fittings so i'm going to set these over here by the fuel line until we need those wiring is over here we're going to have to figure out some place to mount this giant fuel filter underneath the car onto the body of the car and we've got our solenoid right here which is going to detect boost so once we get over a certain amount of boost it's going to kick on our second and third pump on the fuel pumps um and get a lot more fuel pumping before that it's just going to be one pump running at all times so that's great plain and simple yeah, we'll figure all that out later though. First thing though we need to tackle is getting this fuel hat put into the car. This is going to be interesting. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so we're in the back seat right now. That's the trunk back there. We've got some lights rigged up so that way we can have at least a little bit of visibility in here. Here is the fuel hat that is in the car currently. Okay, got the rubber grommet off. Set that out of the way. Lines are out of the way for the fuel controller. Move that out of the way. So anyways, this is right here called the top hat and this is basically um, a mount that goes down into the tank that holds all of the fuel pumps inside of them this right here uh, is a two pump system we're installing a triple pump hat so we're gonna have to remove this one we're also going to have to disconnect the fuel line to do that which is gonna suck this I believe is the return line this is the feed line and both of those are full of fuel right now. Well, the return line actually shouldn't be, but the feed line, I believe, will be. Um, so we're probably gonna make a pretty big mess, which is gonna suck. <sighs> Last time that we did this, we, uh, we, whenever we pulled that top hat off, spun the ring around, we dumped like five gallons of V85 <laughs> on the ground in the shop. It was bad. So hopefully it's a little bit easier this time. All right, well, let's do it. And I need a hammer. Okay, or just stick to the hammer, that's cool. Just wanna get all the dirt off that top hat so none falls into the fuel. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay, here's where the big mess is about to take place. Austin, check underneath the car and see if there's anything under there that's gonna get wet or flammable or whatever. All right, here we go. So we're taking the uh, the main fuel line right here. That goes to the motor off right now. We're gonna have to beat this thing. So there's a ring basically that holds that top hat on. We're gonna try to spin that ring off. And once we get that ring spun off, we're gonna remove the top hat and put the new one in. Okay, so we got the ring spun off here. All right, now I'm gonna push these lines out of the way. Now this top hat, is free, but there is fuel all over it. Yeah, we're about to make a mess, bro. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pick the top hat up. It's gonna be covered in fuel. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. What do you, what? <laughs> if y'all move that button. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Come on. What in the? In here, that would suck. Oh, I got this thing in a bucket right now. Yep. This is a bucket. Because it is covered in fuel, as you guys can see down there. So let me pull this out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you see this little device right here? This is what is called a float. This little piece right here, it uh, it floats. <laughs> Imagine that. So if you look right here, this, this is an indicator. Whenever this float goes up, it's gonna read a full tank. Whenever the float goes down where it's floating in the fluid, it's gonna read that it's actually an empty tank of gas and it's gonna get your gas light on. Now we're gonna grab our new hat right here. So as you guys see, it is similar in style. We've got our little ear right here, ear right here. 
We've got our feed line right here, which was previously this small fitting and is now this gigantic fitting. <laughs> and we have our return line on this one, which is now our gigantic return line here. And instead of this harness connector right here with the dual pumps, we actually have three of these that come out through its own custom connector with these two wires right here that I believe are used for the, uh, the tank indicator, the fuel capacity. Well, not fuel capacity, but you get where I'm going. So, so obviously we need this float to be on our new hat right here with the triple pumps. So we're gonna take off our little fuel level indicator right here, get that swapped over onto the new hat. There we go. And it slides down like so and off of there. And now there is one last connection up here that I need to remove and there we go. Okay, so got it. Now, this is our fuel level indicator. Now I'm gonna install this little float onto the new fuel pump hat here. I'm gonna slide this back up like so. And there we go, that is attached to that. Now, if you check right here, we've got these nice little uh, quick connects and we need to splice these wires right here into these wires, which go up through the hat right here, through this little silicone area part right here. And this is gonna get spliced into the fuel pump harness on the stock harness for the stock pumps on the car for the fuel level indicator. So let's go ahead and grab some electrical stuff, snip this. All right, there we go. Cut those, and I've got my nice little wire strippers here. Bro, this thing is wanting to fall over, I swear. Now that we've got those uh, stripped down, we can take it and slide it into our new little harness right here. And I'm just gonna crimp it. Boom, that is done. Now we've got the last wire to do, and then we are completed, and the hat can be dropped back into the tank. And actually, it did not make nearly as much of a mess as I was expecting, so that's good. So we're gonna set this new hat now that we have all completed. Uh, we've got the float on there, as you guys can see. We're gonna set it down on top of the tank. We're gonna take our ring. Oh, we should probably do the AN fittings before I put... Oh, dude, I forgot about that. Hang on. Might have to do these AN fittings first. Nope, look, we'll just do this. We'll just uh, take the AN fittings off of here and then we'll put the AN fittings on. Yeah, so that's what that works. We'll do that. Okay, so yeah, we can go ahead and finish doing that. I'll do the AN fittings here in just a second. Yep, don't let the line drop. Okay, so move those two lines out the way. Let me drop this float in there. There we go. Oh my God, bro, it barely fits in there. You know, it feels like it's been in the float. All right, there we go. Okay, that is solid and down in place now. <laughs> that was a little bit challenging. Okay, so we've got these lines out of the way. Let me shove those down. Now that we've got that hat down in there, we can slide our ring back over like that. Yeah, like so. Get that positioned and we've got to spin that back again clockwise to be able to get that thing on there again. So we take our hammer and our screwdriver back again and start tapping and get that ring put back on. Bro, this thing is not one to slide on there. Almost there, dude. There we go, yeah. Okay, so now we've got the ring back onto the hat right there. We've got our wires exposed right here, so that is complete. That actually wasn't that bad. So the rest of this install consists of getting these AN fittings uh, attached to the stainless steel braided lines, which is gonna suck and hurt your thumbs quite a bit, but we can make it. Then we've got to run the remaining lines. We've got to remove all of these lines from the fuel system that was currently in the car, the Psyleaf system. And we've got to uh, connect, yeah, so it must be these two that go to the uh, fuel level of the car and once we do that the fuel level will be correct and we'll do a, we'll worry about that a little bit later but anyways yeah you want to start stripping some lines out and getting it all removed yeah that's gonna be fun we're gonna have to put the car on four jack stands to be able to do that but oh well at least we got the fuel hat and everything replaced that was supposed to be the hardest part of the job and that was really all that i was concerned about so that wasn't that bad now we've got the siley double pump system right here removed and uh probably gonna sell this thing here in a little bit but i'll post it for sale and see if anybody wants it so now the goal is to remove Move the lines from underneath the car where we had them ran and run our new lines at least up to around the driver's side fender that way when the remaining parts of the fuel rail gets here we can just connect all of that and that will be done so to do that we're going to jack up the front of the car as well obviously the back has been sitting on jack stands for a while as you guys know since we've been waiting on parts for that i'm going to jack up the front that way we can get underneath the car to access those lines and also we're going to have to pull out each fender liner on both sides that way we can get to the wiring on the passenger side and the uh, fuel lines on the driver's side. Now we've got jack stands on all four corners. Oh my gosh, dude. Hold, like, just feel this. Just feel that. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, dude. Nice. All right, Harry, where's the, where's the electrical tape? Oh, okay. 
Let me throw that in there. And we've got our old small fuel line right here. We've got our return line, which I can move out of the way for now. And we're gonna use this good old fashioned trick. We're gonna tape this new line here up to the old line right here and pull it through. Right here, you ready? It's coming through? Yep. Do you see that return line? Where is that going to? I don't even know if I have wrenches, bro, that's big enough for this. Wrenches? That's big, yeah, dog. I don't have any AN soft jaws or anything. I'm actually just now remembering that I do not have any soft jaw uh, AN pliers for AN fittings like this so they don't beat it all up. I don't want to beat these fittings up and make them look terrible. So I'm just gonna be careful with them for right now. And uh, I'll get some soft jaw pliers tomorrow and we'll continue. And we'll continue the fuel system again in the next video. Ow, oh my God, dude, this hurts so bad. <laughs> I got the fitting screwed up as much as I can for now. <laughs> screwed on actually, not screwed up. But uh, now I'm just waiting on the soft jaw pliers that I gotta get tomorrow so I can finish tightening this down. That is done in here. Let me, let me get on the ground down here. Let me take the electrical tape off of the fuel line that came out of the car that we're trying to remove. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but I apologize. This line right here, this black one, this came uh, with my little cheaper fuel system, my budget fuel system that we're replacing right now with the really nice one. And you guys see that I ran it to the same place that I ran my brake hydro lines, if you guys saw that video. Uh, it's underneath this little plastic shield right here. And I'm gonna be running this much bigger stainless steel line where this one is at currently. So we're gonna have to take off this plastic shield right here or actually at least just loosen up one side right here. Just loosen these bolts on one side so we can pull it down, slide the old line out, slide the new line in and put it back up. And we're just gonna have to fasten the line up under here once we run the return line as well. So later on to make sure that uh, these lines are not gonna be loose and dangling. We've got some cable clamps over there to do that later on. So let's go ahead and remove this little plastic cover and uh, we can get started feeding this line through where the original black one was. Okay, so whenever we pull that plastic cover off of the side down there, I'm also gonna have to, wait, not this, what am I doing? Here we go. I'm also going to have to uh, mount up my gigantic fuel filter here. I'm gonna have to mount this to the body of the car underneath. Look at this thing. Oh my God, dude, Jesus. This is a billet, completely billet fuels, fuel filter as well. That's nuts, bro. Oh, and we gotta do the AN fittings on this thing too, bro, I forgot. <laughs> so we're gonna have to cut the steel lines underneath the car with the cutters. Then we're gonna have to do AN fittings on both sides of this. Okay, where's our other straight fitting at for this? This has got to be the one, right? Is this a secondary filter? Oh my God, this thing is huge, dude. All right, so while we're down there, we take off that side cover. I need to install this giant fuel filter that we got right here. So we're gonna get under there. We've got these two self tappers right here. I have to figure out a spot underneath the body to be able to mount this giant fuel filter. Dude, I have never seen a fuel filter this big, I swear, <laughs> never. Okay, so it says the flow is going that way. So this is gonna have to be toward the front. This is toward the back, flow's going that way. Okay, so let's find a place to mount this giant thing somewhere under here. Honestly, right here would probably be best. Literally like almost the first place I look. It's so low though, bro. I don't want it to be low enough to be able to drag. That's my main concern. You don't think it's gonna drag right there or anything? Uh -oh. I apologize now if this is hard to see. I'm looking like completely upside down at this thing, trying to drill it in. One side is started. Let me grab my other screw right here. Now that we got that there, let me set my line over here. And we're gonna have to Trying to find a place right now to route this big old line to be able to get to this fuel filter easily. We'll probably route it over here to the side like that. And then, well, no, because I don't want it to be low. I think we're almost at a stopping point for today. I don't see anything else really that I can do right now. We've got the line attached up top. We've got the fuel pumps installed into the fuel tank. Uh, we've got the car at least ready to go now for the rest of the fuel system. And then we just got to do wiring and everything. So we're... We're getting there actually. I'm gonna get under here with my little brake hydro and I'm gonna try to use those cable clamps and clamp clamp this one little line right here to the body so it doesn't flail around and get close to this exhaust right here. That fuel filter is securely fastened to the bottom of the car. It's not going anywhere. Got it all tightened down. Like I said, I need to go run and grab some AN soft jaw pliers tomorrow so that we can attach uh, the AN fittings and tighten them down. I cut this line right here, put the AN fitting on the line so we can get it attached to the fuel filter. From the fuel filter up to the fuel rails whenever the fuel parts come in for that. 
And uh, yeah, so we're making a lot of progress actually. Slowly but surely, like everything else, it's getting there. Okay guys, so there we have it. It's a little bit messy in here obviously, but we got the majority of the stuff that we were trying to do today taken care of. Let me hop in the car and show you guys. So in the car, in the back seat, like you guys have been seeing, we got the top hat replaced back here. We got the fuel lines, oh, where did it go? Oh, there it is, it's hiding. We got the new fuel line right here with the AN fitting. We just gotta tighten it down whenever I get the pliers in, and then we just need to tighten it down onto the top hat of the fuel pumps right here. Triple pump four system that's getting installed. After that, we're gonna have to run the return back up to this and connect it to this fitting here But that's pretty much everything that we need to do inside of the car for right now until we get to the electrical stuff But underneath the car as you guys saw we ran the line down here We got the fuel filter mounted right there And now we just need to run the line to this and connect this an fitting right here Which is not gonna be a big deal at all But we're gonna worry about all of that whenever the uh, remaining pieces for the fuel rail and everything come in So we can run all the fuel line and do everything at the front of the car on the engine itself one of the these days we're gonna be getting the brakes in. It's been literally, what's today? What's the date today? The seventh. The sixth. Seven? Six. The sixth. So it has been a month. a month and one day since I ordered my brakes and they still have not arrived. So hopefully they're gonna be coming someday and then the car will be done. So we're gonna probably hopefully have this fuel system done around the same time that the brakes come in. So we'll get the fuel system finished up. The brakes will come in, we'll attach everything, connect the hydro, lead the hydro, get all of that going, and the car is gonna be rolling out of here and it's gonna be perfect. So, a lot of stuff happening, I cannot wait. I'm actually, I don't know, me and Harry decided pretty much last minute what we were gonna be doing with this car. Um, I didn't plan on putting the fuel system on this car yet because, you know, I was gonna swap the motor and everything, but then me and Harry were like, you know what, let's let this motor go out with a bang. So the reason why I haven't been able to add more power to it as of right now is because of the fuel system. The fuel system has been limiting this thing for a long time well now we've got big giant injectors in there we've got triple pumps we've got everything to throw a lot of fuel at this car and uh we're gonna do it on stock motor and see how long it'll take <laughs> until it just pops i guess we're gonna see how much abuse this little car can take until i just i mean i don't know it's on the stock diff the stock trans the stock engine we're gonna see what happens first um yeah it's gonna eat itself for sure we're gonna swap this thing down to a lot smaller pulley now that we're gonna have an actual fuel system to support it it's on the 70 nine millimeter pulley right now making 17 pounds of boost with a five percent overdrive lower so uh yeah there's a whole lot more room to grow from there so 900 wheel horsepower right now is very fast obviously if you guys saw ran nine seconds that was awesome trying to go a lot deeper than that and uh, i guess we're gonna see how far we can go on a stock motor before we swap in the mmr 1500 horsepower motor that is still sitting right here that is gonna be all for today's video sorry for the little spill but that's pretty much what's going on thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you guys in the next video.